Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. So today's setting is a little bit gloomier than usual. I tried to make it cozier looking, but you know what? It's a very thin line between you don't see shit and it's too bright. So <laughs> I apologize for that. But yeah, let's go. Um, the topic that I am doing here today, as you can tell, is for people who are singles, not in commitment, or if you are in a maybe uncertain situation at the beginning stages of some sort of connection, that is my intention. I've listened, someone commented here today, Brigitte, um, I need a relationship reading, so here I am. And also because I think in the past like two weeks, I noticed even in seven to 10 day predictions that there were a lot of relationship stuff coming up. Would it be platonic, romantic? It was quite important. So let's see what is happening. Pile number one is on your left. Pile number three is on your right. I'll see you in timestamps. Hey, pile one. So as I said in the intro, I don't know if, if you skipped it or not. Um, this reading is for people who are either single or at the very, very beginning stages of getting to know someone. And the question we're asking today, what is next in love? Sometimes a reading can go and talk about the past experience. So you may have to determine when the past ends, when the future starts. Okay, so let's go. Pile number one, people. What is up relationship-wise in the future? The first card that we have is the Adept of Coins. I hope you can see that. Yes, cool. The cards are actually all over the place in this reading. It's like a lot of them want to just fly out. We have Imitate of Coins. We have the Two of Cups confirming what you're talking about here. Okay. We've got the Three of Wands. It makes sense um, next to this card right here. Let me adjust you slightly. Like that. Wait, 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 wait. I need two hands for this. Let's go down and let's go like that. Perfect. Yeah, see? And I'm not that bad at shuffling, but in the group number one, damn, I'm like, damn. We have Magician clarifying the Knight of Coins. We have the Five of Pentacles clarifying the Two of Cups. Okay, let's look at the bottom of the deck here. We have the Five of Swords, and I want to pull from the Angel deck, see what's up here. We have You Deserve Love, which you know already. We have getting to know each other. And we have reconciliation. Now, um, straight away the storyline here, if it's yours, it's yours. If it's not, I'd say maybe this is not your reading. Uh, we're talking about a situation where either you're ready, have been communicating with this person, or this doesn't feel like it could be maybe for 20 percent of you this doesn't feel like someone that you don't know of it feels like maybe initial stages of getting to know each other um and what we're seeing in this case i'm seeing there's a bit of internal conflict of yours um here with the five of swords you're trying to make up your mind if the person that you're getting to know or will be getting to know 
is someone that you want long term you are thinking about it because i feel like you have set an intention for your love life some time ago what it is that you want what do you need what kind of partnership you want and you have been doing all the other things but at the back of your mind you had this feeling that something is coming my way and i think it may have taken some time or the communication between you two starts and then it goes very slow it slows down what you can expect is a bit of a slow down and at around that time um, someone is waiting for a message someone is waiting for maybe even apology I'm seeing here in this case and they are thinking about where do I want to take this and it feels like your energy where do I want to take this because someone in in this connection is being um, I don't want to say triggered but someone might be thinking that you know what I'm not getting enough here and I don't know what it is exactly but maybe not enough attention not enough affection or your love language is a slightly different but it feels like an initial storyline um you have asked for this i'm seeing here to get to know this person this person is coming in to show you things that you need to see about yourself uh, the getting to know stage feels like it's not going to be super quick uh, maybe you and also the other person likes to take it slow at the beginning that one person in your connection who likes to rush into things too quickly they may experience a little bit of withdrawal where they go oh i kind of want more but it's not happening it's a bit of a patience game over here and i really like that we have getting to know each other and also the knight of pentacles this is telling me that this is something that should not be even rushed because then it would flow very organically uh, you are giving each other time you are giving each other time to do the things that you're doing individually and also to build this connection but it's not going to happen um within the, the two weeks um span because someone really in order for them to be attracted to someone maybe you're very mental um you need to get to know them you need to see how they act in the workplace um what's their goals what they appreciate truly and i think um, there might be a bit of a hiccup here for someone who likes to rush into things or someone who has abandonment issues because it might be dragging and someone who has abandonment issues um, in their eyes it might feel like damn but I'm not getting enough but what is actually happening is that you're being given time and I think it's a journey we not we're not looking at the outcome just yet so enjoy that time getting to know one another communication is the key some of you may have a hiccup where you might start talking about it you know um, I'm not getting enough of this or that or I'm not feeling appreciated but it doesn't feel like the other person does not appreciate you here that's the thing they just very slow move in but you know pentacles remember pentacles are slow moving but they're quite stable right they're quite stable i think there was um separation here between you two or there will be but it doesn't feel like it's a long one and um, it feels like you know sorry i gotta do some things maybe i'm not as present right now but there is something happening in the other person's world where they have to take care of some sort of business or personal responsibilities and therefore at one point it doesn't feel like it's going to be for too long they cannot be as present or maybe they have to leave and go somewhere to take care of some sort of business with the eight of cups there is a bit of a waiting game here included in this Someone is waiting while the other person get um, finishes whatever they gotta finish in their life. Three of Pentacles, but I feel like you're gonna work well together. Magician, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. As long as you approach both of you this connection um, as team effort, I feel like there, this connection has quite a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. you've got the emperor 
Whoever this is that you're de dealing with, this person might be quite busy in their lives. Um, they have quite a lot of responsibilities. Maybe um, there is someone who is a boss or um, who is a leader in their fields and a lot of people need their attention. A lot of people need their energy, their advice, their leadership, their guidance. Um, maybe that's why for someone you know with the five of pentacles um they may feel like oh this person is not giving me enough because emperor can be a little bit cold sometimes so if someone is um about to date an emperor who is um very self-conscious or who doesn't have self-confidence um, it might be quite triggering because this person is very strong within themselves um, and when they see something that they like they go for it but they're not gonna be all over like the knight of wands all over you super fast super quick without a plan really that's why this person is moving slow the emperor is strategizing observing the connection, the initial stages, the reactions, how they feel about you. Maybe you're the emperor in this case and you're the one who wants to take it slow. So you have to dis determine this. This person might also be visible um, somehow. Uh, maybe they have a massive circle, people looking up to them, maybe following something along those lines or they work in a massive group or company and everyone knows them. You've got the Eight of Wands. You've got the Adept of Wands. Bottom of a deck, you have the Initate of Wands. Okay, there's strong uh, fire energy here. Either you have very strong fire placement, uh, moon or sun, or they have. It doesn't really matter, the signs, but the energy that these people are bringing in feels quite fiery to me. I feel like the moment when you get to the point where you approach, both of you approach this connection as teamwork, um, as equal partnership, I'm bringing in what you're bringing in, right, vice versa. I feel like that's when things will start moving forward quite rapidly. Um, it might even take half of a year of quite a slow movement before something happens. I want to say that because I keep say, seeing half a year. Um, when we're talking about bedroom, um, intimacy will be fire, sexual intimacy. It's gonna be fire. We have trust. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. We have free yourself. You know what this talks about here? I don't feel like this talks about this new connection. It talks about um, someone's baggage that they are bringing into this connection. So if someone has trust issues from the past, um, it can ruin this connection for sure. That's why we have free yourself. Someone has been involved in relationship with someone who somehow maybe cheated on them, tricked them in some way, was deceptive in general. That's why someone may have a bit of trust issues and they might not see this connection for what it truly is. So make sure both of these people, you and the other one, um, you're coming in with a clean slate. Otherwise, there might be quite a lot of triggers. Okay, so let's free ourselves from the past burdens. Love yourself first. Mm -hmm. Healing family issues. 
let go of control issues. I want to say that this person could be quite controlling here, okay? Um, and I feel like this person might remind you of your, your mother or your father or someone that you grew up with who was quite controlling. So it's completely up to you if you want to continue this. You have complete free will when it comes to relationship. But it seems like uh, that would be a good experience because if we have these strong cards, healing family issues, let go of control issues, love yourself first, it's telling us that this connection could help us do that. Yes, it might not be all rainbows and unicorns, but it feels like this connection could help us do that understand ourselves a little bit better or also those who don't have um, very strong boundaries or self-worth you definitely would be learning about that here because you might find yourself in a situation where you have to say no and it's like this connection would be training you in a way to say no when you don't feel like you want to do something or when something doesn't sit right with you and what I want to say, what I'm feeling intuitively here, the emperor would really appreciate that. If you had your boundaries straight, if you had your boundaries intact. I have this feeling in this pile that this would be quite a beneficial connection to be in for some time. It could be a lot less than one, don't get me wrong. Because I'm seeing you teaching the emperor and the emperor is teaching you. It's vice versa energy. It doesn't feel like it goes only one way. I feel like you somehow would be able to make the emperor see the things that they have forgotten about. And the emperor would be able to help you strengthen your core. What can we expect from this connection? What can we expect from this connection? Two of Wands, this is your decision to make. Novice of Wands. Seven of Swords, let's clarify the Seven of Swords. We have the Sun. Mm hmm what an it's a it's quite opposing right seven of swords is like mm, hidden kind of things and the sun is complete clarity cutting the bullshit i'm hearing <laughs> cutting the bullshit the moon the moon is here what is being what you can expect from this connection um if you at any point had deception in your past relationships, it feels like this connection would help you overcome that pattern. Make sense? Overcome a pattern of maybe not saying things that you truly want to talk about, or being very passive to the point where you lose your own identity. I think you overcame this already, but some of you might be still in that energy. Knowing how to how to be better at speaking up. And also I want to say, this person somehow helps you experience things in the bedroom that you probably haven't, in, haven't experienced yet to such intensity. Okay? So the decision is yours, pile number one. The decision is yours. This was a very interesting storyline. If this has already made sense to what has happened in your life, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to share, obviously. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, pal, two people. So as I said in the intro, I don't know if you skipped it or not. Um, some of the things we might be talking about here, um, well, my intention is to talk about the future, but sometimes when we read tarot for relationship, tarot could talk about the past events that you have already experienced. So you may have to determine uh, where the past ends, where the future begins. 
Okay, let's go. Pile number two, what's next in love? And again, as I said in the intro, this is for people who are single or this is for people who are in the very, very beginning of stages of getting to know someone new. We've got the Hermit. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Haha. <laughs> Hold your horses, pile number two. Hope you can see cards, yeah? Yeah, I can. Cool. On the bottom, we have three of wands, knight of swords, page of pens, ten of swords, bottom of the deck. We've got the tower and now let's pull from the angel deck to see what is going on here i feel like we're talking about the past event here to be honest i'm looking at these cards and i'm like mm, this is past energy for sure so i may have to talk about this and then pull more cards do a completely new spread because this definitely feels like a pre-story We have very soon. We have heart to heart conversations. We have forgiven and learning. Definitely. Bottom of the deck, we have finances and career. Okay, I want a card or two from Keeper deck and we're gonna start talking. We have expectation. It's interesting we have expectation and very soon, intuitively you may feel like, especially that she has a black hat next to her, right? They're very, I see them as a, as a moon <laughs> in a way. They're very intuitive, so you're intuitively feeling that something is about to happen. Something is about to happen. We have a long way. We have court house. So whenever I pull this court house card in relationship, it's talking about contracts, soul contracts, uh, maybe past marriages, stuff like that. So let's talk about this. Now, as I said, you have to determine this is your past or this is the future. I'm seeing you someone who's super freaking reflective, you know? You always dive so deep to understand why you have certain maybe issue or block or why you act with certain people the way you act. You hear the beeping? Definitely. <laughs> and um, I feel like you're not someone who maybe lets someone in that easily. Uh, you could be quite a sensitive soul and it might be difficult for you to completely open yourself up because not only that you are super reflective, you're super sensitive to someone else's energy. So say even sleeping in the same bed could be a bit of a challenge for you sometimes. Um, so you have to become a little bit better, which you will, I think, or maybe you have already become better when differentiating your, differentiating your own energy and someone else's. Having that, you know, invisible um, protective shield, you know, my energy is mine, your energy is yours. I'm not taking everything over to my side. I feel like in the past you may have dealt with um, relationship or relationships that were not maybe as fulfilling to your soul. Because I'm getting a bit of this energy of, you know, it's, it's lighthearted, but it's quite immature. So you might have dealt with someone who's quite immature. Um, you have immense strength in you. And um, at one point I see you uh, becoming quite tired being strong for two 
And that's when you start looking for a partner who can match your energy. I do not want to be a mother or a father to someone. I want an equal partner. I also need to stop mothering or fathering, <laughs> fathering uh, people because I, I, do, I, if I wanted a child, I would have one. Maybe you have one already, right? I want a partner. I do not want someone who um, needs to be taught. I want them to bring something to a table. And at one point, I feel like uh, you had this realization and you are like, let me go and figure this shit out. What is it that I want? And I feel like there was a clean slate that you were starting with in your head. In your head, you reorganize and everything, understanding what the hell you want, what the hell you don't want in the first place. And that's when you're starting over. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you have gone through um, a divorce here already, or you had like a seven or five year relationship that felt like it's going that way, but you had to go your separate ways. Someone who was in a committed relationship for a long, long time of someone. So let's talk about this next phase of yours, shall we? Looking at the very soon and expectation, you can expect changes in your love life happening within, I'd say, next five months. Let's see what is happening. So we're starting with the King of Wands. If anyone wants to ask the name of this deck, it's called the Haunted House Tarot. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have a tower coming back. We have the Six of Pentacles. Oh, I like seeing that in the row with the Five of Pens. We have the Four. Mm. Guys, some of you have commitment issues here. Hmm? Anyone? Yeah, super, super independent. You know, we have to have a good balance when it comes to independence. Uh, shutting people down will just keep you away from people that you want. Because you want someone with an open heart, someone who speaks to you, they're not afraid to be vulnerable. And I feel like what you're doing in the future, you are matching that energy in order to meet someone like this. How can I have a heart to heart conversation if I'm afraid of doing so myself? Either you've learned this already or you are learning this in the next connection. Chariot. Five of Wands, let's see at the bottom of the deck. Two of Swords, yeah, you see that closed heart right here, right here. Either you're dealing with someone like that who shows that part of you that still needs to be looked at, or um, you are that person, you know, who has maybe difficult times sometimes to open up or to allow yourself to be helped. And the next relationship, the next interaction I want to say because I'm not sure if you're gonna end up being in relationship you're not looking that far away into the future this is at the end of the day it's your your choice free will right but we're seeing a situation where someone someone comes in who has this very you know caring energy who has this very caring energy and someone who kind of wants to help you out in a way but I feel like the energy that they bring in, it might at first make you feel like you want to push away. You're like, oh, this is too much. Oh, I haven't experienced this before. Or overall, the vibe is different. And therefore, you, you're like, oh, um, I don't know. I don't know what to do this. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know. I don't know. This person, whatever happens with them, it's going to be quite unexpected. Something that you're not used to out of the blue. The way maybe you meet or who they are as a person. 
This person may surprise you at first. They might look like someone who is quite reserved and who um, is quite serious from the outside. But if you give a chance to this person and if you, if you get to know this person, I feel like they're going to prove to you that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Because deep down, this is someone who is very caring, who is very protective, who is quite soft. But they're just not showing it to just anyone. Uh, people have to earn it. Okay? People have to earn it in a way. I feel like there is travel in the world. Um, you definitely not... 90% um, of you don't live in the same um, town. I feel like you're going to be taking trips, uh, but you're going to be thinking about that. You're like, do I want to involve myself in long distance relationship? Uh, someone really didn't want to involve themselves in a, in a long distance relationship uh, because maybe they had a previous experience when it went tits up, right? And they're like, mm, it would be foolish of me to get involved in this. This person will see you as someone who is who has this very strong and very caring, assertive motherly energy. Not, you know, that mothering energy in a way where you approach them as a child or you wanna you wanna care for them in a codependent way. They see you as a strong individual. Who has built life for themselves financially work-wise they'll appreciate what you do in life I feel like very soon you may hear from a person I don't know if you know them just yet or this is gonna be someone new um, it feels quite newish energy to be honest um, even if you might know this person they might come through as a new person they might bring in new energy and um, in the past, maybe you didn't feel like as someone, maybe you or them felt like constantly running away from emotional connection, which at one point felt foolish or will feel foolish. And that's when we start opening up and saying, okay, let me get to know you. Let me see where we can take this we're taking it i feel like you'll want to take it slowly but i'm sensing that the moment you see them eye to eye um, chemistry is going to be so strong that i wouldn't be surprised if you ended up uh, sleeping with one another uh, sooner than you would want to no, not you would want to, then you would have planned because you definitely will want that. Let me tell you, looking at these cards, <laughs> okay? There's a lot of, um, um, there's something quite competitive about this person, but caring at, at the same time that is quite hot. And I feel like you're going to be like, mm, I thought that, that I'm just going to, you know, listen to what they got to say. I didn't see them that way maybe at first yes they quite maybe handsome or pretty but I was going to just have a very chill maybe evening together but the moment you see them you realize fuck <laughs> and it, it kind of goes out of the window it's like I'm seeing someone looking at the other and at the back of their mind they go damn the way you speak how you carry yourself and overall, I'm quite curious to get to know you more. I think the moment you meet one another eye to, face to face, mm, I, I wanted to say I, the moment you look into their eyes, it's gonna be like a spark. Um, there's also, I'm seeing here, something may happen along the way of this connection where someone's gonna... I wanna clarify this, I just don't wanna blindly say that. I have to interrupt I'm hearing someone say in the past it felt sometimes as if I had to compete for attention 
or to ask for attention where now I'm being given so much of it, I don't know what to do with it. You know what I'm getting with this? I'm, I'm clarifying for giving and learning here with the Empress and the Six of Wands. Uh, what I heard is that whenever you come across challenges with this person, you're gonna be um, pretty good at both of you ob overcoming them or forgiving one another, um, not holding grudges. I feel like that's where the strength lies in this connection not holding grudges, overcoming difficulties together, speaking about what you or them did not like, and truly diving deep into that conversation. Or at least that's something that you guys are being taught about. So you're going to have to get to that place. That's what this relationship is teaching you. Let's clarify the courthouse. We have Eight of Cups, High Priestess, the Sun. Ooh. This person might share or you may share with the other. Share about the time when you had really strong ties, contra contracts, contractual ties, maybe marriage even with someone and you had to leave or the other person had to leave you. I'm seeing a chat, a very open chat about the past experience that made you or them who they are now. It could be even family influences. I saw, for example, my mom and dad split up very early on and I'm trying to avoid um, making the same mistake in your eyes because I feel like it's much better in my eyes much better than parents split up then stay and keep going for this toxic you know caca and kids can't see that it's it's much better to split um, but someone is seeing this as that's like a, that's like a bad thing to do Maybe someone has very strong opinion on how marriage should be. I'd rather not marry twice. I'd rather wait and truly choose my partner and be patient and experience life until I get to know them, then jump into something too quickly. I really feel like someone has commitment commitment issues here because it doesn't feel balanced. It does feel like black and white thinking. Mm -hmm. Oh damn. <laughs> what do we have here? Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, half of the cards on the floor. We have the High Priest the Hierophant. Let me pick up the rest of the cards from the floor. Give me a second. And what else we have? Okay, cool. So it came out like this. I'm also seeing someone may have some sort of shame connected to partnership or relationship some maybe if someone was shamed in the past about something that they did in their romantic life and this relationship this connection is going to be teaching you how to get rid of that uh, for a couple of you this could be connected to your sexuality maybe you what you felt like you couldn't be a sexual there was some sort of maybe 
blockage there because maybe the culture you come from or society overall or when you were growing up you were told something and I feel like this person is kind of helping you open up and also to heal that part of yourself whoever this is this person is you know we have the king of wands they really good in the bedroom like they they have this passion going they know how to make you feel passionate but it, it, from all of these cards and also intuitively it doesn't feel like this person is gonna be all over you straight away they'll want to know what you like they will want to understand you they will want you to talk to them card on the floor again wait you to talk to them see a bit like in in this card this is the king of swords tell me what it is how can i play this game the bedroom game right so that you like it the observing you how you move if you feel uncomfortable they're going to ask you questions overall i feel like there might be a chat about that in general i feel like you're going to live together with this person definitely you're going to live together with this person you may hey you may even buy a house or rent a house together because I'm seeing that happening further down the line. This person cares um, quite a lot about safety. And as I'm pulling a card, it's four, right? Four walls of the house, four corners of the house. This person likes to feel safe, secure. They appreciate the home environment very much. And since, since you will be making um, this person feel like home, I feel, um, they will want you to move in with them quite soon. I want to say quite soon for them. I don't know if that's going to be long or a short amount of time for you, but for them it feels like it's quite soon because they might not have maybe done it for a long time now or they haven't done it with someone at that point in their life I don't know why I want to say at that point in their life maybe they're gonna be going through quite a lot of things yeah th this is this connection will drastically change both of you I feel like both of you if someone is not gonna completely open up here and keep coming back you know to those uh, past traumas I feel like this connection could be sabotaged there is a possibility of that definitely not showing enough of maybe affection not speaking about things as clearly as they should etc etc this may lead to someone not trusting the other because it's someone feels it's about energy that um, the other person does not open up completely they don't feel safe to open up themselves okay so i feel like that's what we're learning here and also we're learning how to be more giving in a way you know given our time given our attention I feel like you may not be convinced at the very beginning about this connection. You may take your time to observe because you're very protective over your energy, which is good, right? But make sure you're balanced because you may, you know, build such strong walls up that no one can knock them down at the end. And then it's not beneficial for you and the other. Yeah, but I feel like, you, I feel like you're going to do well here. Yeah, mm, you're opening up. It's somehow this person has something in them that they're going to make you open up without really doing anything. It's an energetic thing. Let's see. What can we expect in the future from this damn pile number two? Nearly half an hour. <laughs> By the way, if you need extra content, I have Patreon going. So I'll see you on the other side for all other topics. Sometimes I do extended readings. Uh, we have... Mm, uh, <laughs> and someone is like, I don't know what to do with this. This is too intense for me. <laughs> yeah, because someone is shitting their pants because they're like, damn, this is intense. 
damn, I kind of feel deep down that mm, this could be someone that I commit to. And especially if someone has commitment issues, they're like, oh, I'm out of here, bitches, <laughs> you know, with a full card. She's out of there. Look, um, the first card that we pulled, right? Look at this, um, how it follows. So I'm clarifying the King of Wands with the, with the fool. It seems like this guy, you know, he was helping this woman out, right? He's like, I got you, babe. And the moment she gets up, she's like, I'm out of there. Not even saying, you know, thank you or anything. And this guy goes, damn, what did I do? I was trying to help her out. Right. <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 no. Okay. This is not a straightforward story, but I don't feel like um, any relationship stories are very straightforward. So here we are. Romantic feelings. Oh, someone is opening up. Someone is cracking it. Finance and career. I, th I feel like both of you, are, you both will care about your work a lot. It's going to be very important for both of you to keep that, you know, separate in a way. Like, my work is what I'm doing, is what I like doing, is my space, is my sanctuary. Um, the other person, I feel like, is very just financially focused, where I got to earn X amount of money. I like to be stable. Um, and you're going to have to find balance because both of these people feel really strong on their own. But at the same time, I feel like that's what you both appreciate about one another. Getting to know each other. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be quite interested in what you do and what they do. And they will be interested in what you do and vice versa. Got it? So, that's what I have for part number two. I mean, if you have gone through some of this stuff already... If you want to, feel free to share in the comments if this resonated. React to my content. Thank you for doing that, guys. I don't always ask that. And I'm going to see you in the other ones. Bye for now. Hello, hello, part three. Let's see what is happening so as I said in the intro um, sometimes cars like to talk about events that have already happened in your life in the past relationship so you have to determine where the past ends where the future begins okay this is a reading for people who are single or who are maybe at the beginning uh, beginning stages of relationship just kind of getting to know one another okay let's see what we got we have a star to start with Mm -hmm. We have the Seven of Swords. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the High Priestess. Interesting. What is going on here? Pile number three. Straight away, what I'm hearing, you're getting clarity about your love life soon enough. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Three of Cups. Okay. And you have the World. I feel like some of you guys have already ended a cycle. Um, and what I mean by a cycle is that you have already learned an important lesson in your life. Um, with someone that you've been in relationship with in the past, but it, feels, it doesn't feel very recent. It, what you... What really taught you is self-reflection. That time that you have when you're single and you reviewed your past relationships in a very healthy manner. And that's when it feels like the energy changed for what you can expect in the future. You don't see this person coming your way just yet. I feel like whatever this relationship will be, how it will start is, first of all, I'm seeing friendship more than anything else um, or or um, you may meet this person through a friend or in a setting where you're out and about and you are with friends but they are not part of the group there is something to do with the social setting here for sure 
this person is going to approach you or make a move on you first so if yeah definitely it's them who is doing that I don't feel like you know this person just yet it doesn't feel like it it feels like intuitively you might feel that something is gonna happen in the future but it feels very fresh it doesn't feel like this person is in your circle this is something that you don't see just yet with the seven of swords Usually I don't like Seven of Swords, it's my, I think, least favorite card in the deck, but I always look at the surrounding cards. This is something that you don't see that that coming to you just yet. You see how these cards sit, and you also have the High Priestess, and this is a mystery. Um, this connection is kind of being hidden from you on purpose. <laughs> Shall we get uh, more information? It's being hidden from you on purpose for now. For now, okay? Social setting, socializing is quite important when meeting this person. A lot of times I encounter people in the comment section saying, um, I'm looking for a partner, I am single, but I'm a hermit. So if you're sitting on your couch, you know, and you're not doing things that you want to do in your life, and you're not going places that make you feel happy, even, you know, experiences, how can we then, you know, meet someone at all? Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Four of Swords. I feel like at the beginning, the way that you feel about this person, once you meet them, you'll feel very chill, almost like home. It's not butterflies and rainbows type of energy once you meet them. It feels very safe, secure. I would say some of you might even see this person as you know someone that you like to hang with um, and over time because this is consistency over time the more you get to know one another through some sort of experiences the more this relationship grows um, this is not a fast moving energy I don't see that we have, yeah, King of Pentacles is here saying hello. Nine of Swords is here. And we have the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Let's play the deck. Let's see. Ten of Wands. Around the time when you meet one another, I feel like one of you will be going through difficulties. Could be um, to do with work, uh, personal responsibilities, maybe family dealings of some sort. It feels like it's quite intense and it's um, throwing someone off of track, making them feel quite chaotic. And this is for that person to deal with on their own. You can help them out or they can help you out, but it feels quite personal here. Um, I can listen to what you got to say, but at the end of the day, I have to do the work myself. This person is someone who is very mature. I like this energy quite a lot. And I think maybe that's why um, you also will appreciate, you know, that um, progress that is not, it's not an energy that, that rushes somewhere. Um, you're going to feel quite peaceful around this person because they are very trustworthy. They have this protective energy about them. Um, you may feel energetically as if this person was your family member at one point in the past life. This person will naturally want to care for you. Um, their love language might be acts of, acts of service or gifts. They'll want to provide to you. This is someone who's financially established. Uh, this is someone who is very mature. Very, very mature. This is someone who doesn't uh, play games. So if you're involved with someone right now who feels wishy-washy, wishy-washy, um, this is not that person, I don't feel. This is someone who is a keeper. They're going to give you a keeper energy straight away. You're going to be like, yes, that's exactly what I needed. This person doesn't make you question yourself. This person meets you um, halfway. Every time they meet you halfway. I freaking love this pile. Out of all of them.
out of all of them i think either you may have children or they have children or you will have a child together for sure for sure if that's something that you want if you don't want a child you haven't you buying a pet together who's gonna be like your child uh whew, this person will see it as the empress right here will see you as someone who's like a wish fulfillment uh, you might even not see yourself that way at that point but this person will treat you like a freaking empress that is for sure because you are uh, but i feel like sometimes you kind of question yourself um and um this person will ver i'm healing verbally will tell you remind you how worthy you are and how much they value and appreciate you this is a very healthy pile i love this I freaking love this you are growing together you both want to grow at similar pace meeting halfway growing at similar pace is very important I often notice let me have a sip of water damn my throat is dry by this point already I often notice from um, my surroundings uh, people who are married um, A lot of them have reached that point where one of them wants to grow and improve rapidly as a person where the other one stays in a similar place how that other person met them so then soon enough the scales start tipping and that's when we see imbalances that's when we see conflict coming in that's when we see we don't have much compatibility anymore or things in common anymore so we have double nine double four here you see how it goes you're growing at similar pace you want to both do better be better i don't know why now when i said do better um stormzy's song you know stormzy um it's a uk um artist um he has a song called do better maybe if you want to give it a listen and I think why I mentioned the song, because in that song he talks about his experiences, what we uh, witnessed, what he witnessed and he went through. And this person will have gone through quite a lot of things um, that helped him or her mature over time. And that's what you dearly appreciate and because you're matching on maturity levels. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups. I mean, yeah, of course, this is the pile. The Hangman. You're constantly coming up with new ideas or new ways of improving yourself here, guys. You're very patient with one another. Again, remember how I said meeting halfway and the Two of Cups is literally in the middle of the reading. Right? Joining. Joining. Three of Pentacles talking about collaborations and strong partnerships. We are teammates. We are in this together. The Fool. I feel like you're gonna want to explore or, or experience life together. Uh, maybe you want to travel together or experience things you haven't experienced before. You'll want to do it with this person. Why the Two of Swords? let's see why the two of swords the queen of wands Ooh, wait at one point of this connection one of your exes guys will smell how good of relationship you have you know even if they don't know nothing what's happening in your or their life and um they may want to keep um, they may want to come back in you know how it happens <laughs> once you start dating someone everyone comes back in your dms that's how it happens so at one point that that may happen with the two of swords what i'm seeing here um if it's you you're definitely not interested the other person is not interested if it's their ex it's just been it's just gonna be cut off because you have it really good so what this is telling me is that um no one can threaten your relationship damn this is a strong reading man i appreciate you pile number three double the seven in one row we have three nines now i feel like one of you will have your own business or you will uh maybe whilst you're 
in this relationship create your own business maybe both of you will have your own business i can't even fucking speak anymore sorry <laughs> will build a mutual business okay um this is someone that you meant to meet meant to be with in this life it feels um very good yes there's gonna be hiccups like in every relationship but what we're being shown here is we're being shown patience um we're being shown work that both people put in we're not rushing we're in this journey together one step at a time okay bottom of the deck we have strength when you are knocked down i'll pick you up and vice versa i don't feel like i need to draw any more cards for the for other piles i draw draw cards from the oracle deck i don't feel a need for this here i feel like it's very straightforward reading the next person you meet i feel like this could be the person that you want to um, spend your life with or it's going to be a very long lasting relationship and very valuable relationship in your life so i love you and i leave you if you want extra content i'll see you on patreon and for the rest of you thanks for being here until next time